In Indiana, the ACLU has filed a lawsuit over a new law that forces citizens to stay 25 feet away from police activity when asked to do so. CNN's Josh Campbell takes a closer look now at this ongoing battle. Back up. I'm on a public sidewalk. This is a traffic stop. You do not belong I am, here. I am far away. It's become a YouTube staple, cop watching. Don't touch me. People are recording interactions between the police and the public and then posting them online. Back again with another video. Where they're racking up millions of views. Having the film ourselves from a different perspective allows us to document the incident, document the misconduct, and then from there we can take it to the public. Cop watching or First Amendment auditing is hardly a new trend. Can I get your name and badge number? But it's grown more prevalent in recent years after a 2020 video shot by a 17-year-old bystander captured the murder of George Floyd by a Minneapolis police officer using excessive force. If it wasn't for somebody actually filming that incident, no officer would have been held accountable. It's powerful when we can actually show the public what happened as opposed to a police narrative. Cop watchers say their goal is to keep the police from overstepping and to inform people of their rights. And while they rake in views, some are also making money back at it once again from ads and subscriptions. But while critics say some cop watchers film in ways that are controversial or seen as aggressive towards law enforcement, am I obstructing the roadway? You're in the roadway. Am I obstructing it? That's the only law. And could be increasing tensions between police and the public. I personally think I calm down the situation when I show up. Cops act differently. We all act differently when, when people are watching. So you've arrived at a scene, started filming, and seen a noticeable change in the posture of police? Every night, all the time. I've reviewed a lot of video taken by uh, citizens regarding police conduct, and it does give you a clearer picture of what actually took place. Videos can be selectively edited, but when legitimate, offer a different view than an officer's body camera. As long as the officer's actions are consistent with their training, with their department policy, and most of all, are constitutional, then it's not a problem at all. In recent years, several states have tried to pass laws, creating more physical distance between people and police. Last month, a new law in Indiana went into effect, ordering people to stay 25 feet back from police activity when asked. This week, the ACLU sued on behalf of a citizen journalist, saying that law violates his First Amendment rights. The ACLU challenged an Arizona law last year that tried to make it illegal for people to record videos within eight feet of police activity. The First Amendment allows me to do this. That law was put on hold. People have a right to film the police. They don't have a right to interfere with the police trying to do their jobs and make an arrest. But they have every right in the world to film. That's just a fact, and police officers have to adapt to it. And our thanks to Josh Campbell for that report.